Hi guys, my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? It's 9.05am. Alexa, what's the date today? It's Saturday the 5th of November. And Alexa, the weather in Rochester. Currently, in Rochester, England, it's 6 degrees Celsius with showers. You can expect more of the same today, with a high of 12 degrees and a low of 6 degrees. Alexa, can you tell me a joke? Two dogs walk into a bar. The first dog asks for a shot of whiskey. The second dog looks at him and says, wait a minute, you can talk. Right guys, it's fireworks night, bonfire night, and all I'm going to say is everybody stay safe. Fireworks are dangerous in the wrong hands, even a sparkler can burn. Okay, so I have just spoken to my mum who said something really stupid. She said that my dad Derek threw bangers when he was younger. When we're young, when we're a teenager and, and young in our twenties, we do silly things. But I'm sure my dad would not have thrown fireworks. That is a very dangerous thing to do. If you see some of the wounds and atrocities caused by people misusing fireworks. You can lose an eye, a child, a child can burn their hands on a sparkler. You have to be very responsible. My father Derek actually campaigned against fireworks. Once a firework bonfire night and before, weeks before bonfire night, the shops sell it, start selling fireworks. Some silly people start setting them off in the street, which fri frightens pets and it frightens old people. Um, my mum told me to uh, be careful tonight walking with Max, alright? Because of the fireworks. But she didn't say, it. she was laughing as she spoke on the phone like she was five years old. It's not funny. It's not funny. I thank my mum for the £30 that Jennifer Trower sent me in the post. I'm very grateful for that because I've just been to the co-op to get some food, which I will show you. But fireworks are not funny. They're dangerous. This is why they should only be, be used at responsible displays where, where professional people light the fireworks and people stand away from the fireworks and the bonfire at a safe distance. Um, this is, you see, when I was a child, alcohol and cigarettes children could buy. Children under 16, when I w w was a, a child, like in the 70s and the, in the early 80s, could buy alcohol and cigarettes, right, for their parents. So if your parents were lazy and they didn't want to go down to the shop, they could send you down to the local shop to get a bottle of whiskey and, and a packet of, of what my dad used to smoke, Golden Virginia. And that's not being a responsible parent. That wasn't being a responsible parent, sending your child down the shop for drinks and smokes. Right? Things change. And fireworks are dangerous. They're beautiful. They're pretty. But what are, what are they emitting into the, into the air? Fumes. Smoke. And how much do they cost? For a few seconds of pretty sparkling lights, how much does it cost? I'm all for free displays, or displays you pay for and responsible adults are watching 
and, and looking after people. But people buying fireworks by themselves to use in back gardens with little kids and pets, I don't agree with. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. You see the suffering of pets when all these fire and it doesn't stop at bonfire night, these fireworks are sold um, for a long time afterwards and for months all you can hear is fireworks going off and it frightens old people and it frightens pets, that's all I'm saying. I've been to the co-op, I rang my mother after I came back, she said hopefully see you Monday or Tuesday, hopefully. Right? So people, please be responsible with your fireworks. Consider children and pets. And don't be silly. Throwing fireworks is absolutely a stupid, silly thing to do. And my mum shouldn't even say, have said that over the phone. That was so silly and childish. And considering my father's dead and has been for over a year, that was quite upsetting as well. So I've come back from the co-op. I've got some co-op mashed potato. I have got some thin sliced chicken. I've got my Nescafe 2-in-1 coffee. I did forget my water. I've got to go back into the co-op at some stage. I forgot to get water. We have a rustless sausage muffin. And a yuzu, which are 90 pence at the moment. At the moment. That's a banana yuzu. And I've got a pastry which is a pound, a pastry, a chocolate pastry. We've got some Jaffa cakes, more coffee, that goes, that does, I have to get it while I can. We've got two cream slices, Two fresh cream slices there and some carrot, broccoli and cauliflower mix that I can put in the microwave with my mashed potato and chicken. So I've got a healthy meal. I've got a healthy meal there. Another a strawberry so, um, and bananas. So I've got to go back for my mineral water. I forgot it. It is very important to drink water, at least eight glasses a day, if you can, because dehydration can make you feel very unwell, sick, tired and ill. So the human body needs water to keep it dehydrated, not dehydrated, hydrated. If you don't drink enough water, you can get headache and feel ill from not drinking enough water. Right, I've got no shopping deliveries until next week. So I'm not ordering from Mercado until next week. I've had no, I, I order every two weeks. So I didn't have an Mercado delivery last week. I'm, I'm not having one till the end of next week. So all the Mercado lorries going down the road aren't for me this week. So we have a Costa Coffee Latte in here as well. So no, no caramel or no vanilla, just an ordinary latte from the co-op Costa Coffee. So thanks to my mum, I've been able to get some food and drink. I'm very grateful for that. I haven't used it to get anything stupid with or do silly things with. Because unlike my mum, I act like an adult, I act responsibly, fireworks are dangerous, 
and things that my mum finds funny aren't. I am now going to drink the coffee and take Max out for a walk and stay safe. See you later.